Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my January 2020 organization series. Today is Friday and I got off a little bit early today uh, because the kids had an early out because of school, not because of school, had an early out from school because it is snowing a lot. In fact, I just drove home in it and the roads are not that great. I did stop at Trader Joe's before I got back. So I wanna show you a Trader Joe's haul. The project I'm working on today is going to be my uh, mudroom. So organizing all the stuff in our mudroom. And I also have a uh, family calendar that I'm going to set up as well. So um, come along with me this evening. I guess it's not really evening. Well, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So come along with me this afternoon and evening for uh, some organization, a grocery haul, maybe some cleaning, and I'll cook dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna cook yet, but I'm gonna cook something. I know a lot of people complain about snow, but I actually really like it. Murphy likes it, he thinks it's fun. Um, I actually don't mind it. I mean, as long as I don't have to drive like too, too much in it. But yeah, it's really pretty right now. Adam is still at work, so when he gets home, he'll have to get the tractor out and blade the driveway, but I did shovel the walk. One thing I really like about this house is that we have so many windows and when it snows, it's like so pretty outside. That's the one thing when we built the house, I was like, if there's a wall, I want a window in it. And so there's only one wall in our house that doesn't have windows in it. But anyway, you can't really see cause it's obviously the lighting's bad, but it looks so pretty like here back in the timber when it snows, it's so pretty. Also, before we get started with the video, I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys for the positive response in my last video. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll link it down below, but I was just sharing how, um, my, well, sharing my story about uh, my depression and how all of that started and how I'm switching some of my meds around and going to therapy. And I was really blown away by all the kind comments on that video. So thank you for that. I. It really, um, it's hard to put stuff like that out there because it is being like really vulnerable, I guess. And it's kind of like not really sharing your faults, but just sharing like personal information that not, not everyone's really comfortable with sharing. But anyway, thank you for being super, super awesome and understanding about that. And I even had some comments that people were like, you've encouraged me to go see a counselor. You made me not feel so bad about my anxiety, etc. So I'm glad that that could help you in some way. There was one person that expressed concern, shall we say, over me taking antidepressants and uh, drinking alcohol and, <laughs> uh, well, actually they did not, well, they kind of expressed concern and then they called me a nitwit. Um, anywho, <laughs> I am not actually drinking this month. I'm doing dry January. So uh, what that means is you don't drink for the whole month of January, except I will say I drank champagne and beer at Adam's company party. <laughs> so I did dry January with the exception of that one night. That was before I started my new medication. So I'm gonna give this new medication like four weeks to work um, before I drink alcohol or anything like that. So if you're doing dry January, let me know. I think it's like more common than people actually talk about. It's like sort of not drinking for uh, the first year of the month and kind of seeing if you can maybe lose a little weight or sort of get out of that habit of having wine at night or whatever the case is. So anyway, no concern. I'm not drinking this month. I know y'all were super worried about it. <laughs> Before we get into the grocery haul, this is what I have to tackle this evening and probably this too, because you guys saw me clean out my closet down here and I need to get this, well th this is just cardboard that needs to go into the garage, but this stuff that's gonna be donated needs to go into the back of my vehicle so I can do that this weekend. And then this is our uh, mud room. So that's the entrance or the, yeah, the entrance out to the garage. And then we had this, all of these cubbies um, custom built when we built the house. We I kind of found an example online of what I wanted and gave it to the builder and he did it up for us. So. Up here we have like four cubbies and up there we normally put just like hats and gloves and stuff but you can see like I don't have matching baskets. Kira's dance bag is shoved up there. We were supposed to hang like coats and bags here but then like for example that's a pool bag. We don't need that out. It's winter. <laughs> it's snowing outside. Um, and then this kind of gets cluttered up with backpacks and you can see the kids are awesome about putting their coats away. Ha ha. And then down here is shoes but like you know Kira ends up with like a bunch of shoes and Adam ends up with none and so shoes end up spilling out into the mudroom and I'm sure you all can can relate with the struggle but 
So my goal is to clean this up this afternoon and get it organized. I'm not going to go back out this afternoon and get baskets, but I at least want to get everything sorted out so maybe I can get some baskets later on this weekend. Um, and then this is the uh, calendar that I got from Erin Condren. I really, really love it. It's a little bit pricey, but it's customizable and it's a wet erase calendar. So you can actually, it comes with a little rubbing alcohol thing that you spritz on there and you can erase it. Uh, I've got four wet erase markers to go with it. I ordered the pencil holder, the cork board and the key holder. Um, and then all Adam actually went through and numbered the days, but I'm really excited to fill this out. Uh, you guys can order one of these if you want for yourself. Like I said, it's a little bit of an investment, but I'll link the website down below where I got it from Erin Condren. And I'm super excited to fill this out. That way the kids know what, um, you know, what practice they have, what's for dinner, what appointments we have, that kind of thing. Okay, so let me show you what I got from Trader Joe's this afternoon. Uh, some of this stuff is for us this weekend. Most of it is for uh, a, a, I can't talk. Most of it is for a specific video that I am filming this weekend that I'm very excited about, so you'll be seeing that soon. But uh, I did get some salad greens, so it is hard to find baby kale around here. I've talked about my... Uh, difficulties with salad greens here in the Midwest, but they did have baby kale. So I got a package of that. What I really wanted to get was arugula, but they had none. So I ended up getting the Sorrento blend, which is arugula, spinach, and lettuce. So that will work for what I need it for. I got one English cucumber, an avocado. Uh, most of the avocados they had weren't all that ripe. So I tried to get the ripest one that I could. I got two shallots, uh, fennel for a recipe. I really only needed one bulb of fennel but I guess at Trader Joe's they only sell them in a two pack. So I'll have to figure out something to do with the other one. I grabbed this strawberry lemonade. Um, I don't, I think I bought this maybe once before and it was good, but I like to mix a little bit of this with sparkling water and it's really good like LaCroix. Uh, and then this is for a recipe. I actually needed apple cider. However, they did not have any apple cider, but they had this unfiltered apple juice. The recipe I'm using calls to reduce it. And so I'm thinking this will work uh, just the same. I would have preferred to buy a much smaller <laughs> container of apple cider, but that's what I was working with at the time. I got some basil. Uh, I really want to make some caprese salad this weekend. It's cold here and something fresh like that just sounds really good. I grabbed some green onions. Uh, one of these Cubano season wrap. I didn't eat lunch, so I'm actually going to eat this now. If you like Cubano sandwiches, these are so, so good. Or Cuban sandwiches, I guess is what it's called. It's really good. And it has this like dressing that you can dip the wrap in. Really, really good. I got two bags of herbs, one cilantro and one parsley. I got some grape tomatoes and some mozzarella cheese for the caprese salad. I also needed whole milk yogurt for a recipe and they had some like really big containers and I didn't want it to go to waste um, and we don't really use whole milk plain yogurt all that often. So I ended up getting this and uh, hopefully it doesn't go to waste but I, need, I guess I need a cup of it so I'll use at least half of it in that. I got some Parmesan cheese for a recipe and then also some blue cheese for a recipe. They had the crumbled blue cheese but this was actually cheaper to just buy a little brick of it like this and I'm really the only one in the house that will eat it so I'll have to figure out something creative to do with that and then uh, I got some smoked paprika we were running low on that and Trader Joe's is the only place I can find smoked paprika around here I got some of the cold brewed hibiscus tea and lemonade this is pretty good um, it's not very sweet so if you're expecting it to be sweet it's definitely not but it's um, definitely uh, thirst quenching I would say and then we were running low on honey so I just grabbed some of the uh, clover honey and then also some walnuts for a recipe I'll probably end up putting some of these in the freezer just because I'm not going to use all of them for that and I don't want them to go rancid I grabbed some spindrift I don't think I've ever tried the mango kind before um, but that sounds really good I really like spindrift so I grabbed that and then I also grabbed the raspberry lime sparkling water, which I've had before and it's good. I got some of the Cheddar Rocket crackers for the kids, some of the chewy um, chocolate chip granola bars for the kids, some bacon for breakfast tomorrow morning. And then ground chicken is another thing I have trouble finding around here. I think every once in a while, Hy-Vee or Walmart, Walmart will have it, but I always know that Trader Joe's has it. And so I grabbed some of that there for a, this is actually for a Super Bowl recipe that I'm gonna be making and sharing. 
I got some fire roasted uh, diced tomatoes. Someone left me a comment and said that the Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix is really good, so I grabbed some of that just to try it out. Uh, some Kalamata olives. I got some of these little sun-dried apricots. Kira really likes to take these for a school snack. And then I saw these at the checkout. It was kind of a, an impulse buy, but um, I sometimes like to have coffee in the evening after dinner. And I have I love biscotti, and I haven't had it forever. And I thought these looked really good. Probably not the best. Uh, I don't know, 160 calories each. I guess that's not bad. And then a bag of the organic white corn tortilla chips, which are the best chips that Trader Joe's has. I think tortilla chips that they have. If you haven't tried them, they're really good. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then probably go change my clothes into something more casual. All right, so I got the hallway cleared out. The only thing I need to do is take that bin down in the basement. Now I'm gonna work on dishes. I have a crap load of dishes to do because I have not been home the last couple nights after work. Adam has been here running the kids wherever, so uh, sadly he did not get the dishes done, but that's fine, I'm gonna do them right now. forgot to show what we're having for dinner. Tacos. What do you say, Kira? Kira. Excuse me. Jeez. I got these taco plates at Aldi once. Anyway, if you watch my freezer inventory video, you'll know that I had taco meat in the freezer, so that's what I decided to make for tonight. And I inadvertently cooked these shells the wrong way so that they flattened out, so I just broke them in half, put some taco meat on there, and melted cheese so we can eat those like like big old nachos, or like a tostada, basically. Well, friends, it is the following morning. I did not finish my project last night, as you can probably see, but we're gonna carry on this morning because I wanna get this video out for you today. So we're gonna work on the mudroom this morning quick. It's only eight o'clock, so I've got plenty of time today. I brought a laundry basket down here because I'm sure I'll find laundry that needs to be taken upstairs and washed, or shoes that need to be taken upstairs. So I think what I'm gonna start with is the hooks. I know for sure that I need to put that pink, that, that's our pool bag for the summer, so that needs to be put away. And then I have a bunch of bags too that I need to go through and decide uh, what to get rid of or what to donate. know the last time that I wiped this bench down like I can't remember uh, I'm sure it's been at some point I've done it or made the kids do it but it really needed it so that's good but I also found a bag full of random stuff some of which I have been looking for some of which I had not so this is like a some kind of a plastic tote I'm it's pretty beat up so I'm probably just gonna throw it away my mom got it for me a long time ago I used to use it to carry stuff to and from work but why do I have one of my old iPod touches in here? I don't know. And it has a Cinderella sticker on them. Or what is that? Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, I found nail polish and top coat, which is good. I've been looking for that. Uh, a glasses case, a pair of baby fingernail clippers, uh, a lighter, which I don't know why because I don't smoke anymore and haven't for a long time. Uh, some Hall's cough drops, dental floss, band-aids, etc., etc. So, oh, I have mace too because apparently I felt I needed that. So, I'm gonna get rid of all this. Well, I might save the cough drops. But, well, nope, those are expired. So, but here's a little tape measure. Actually, I'm gonna put this in my purse. I used to always keep a little tape measure in my purse. It comes in handy sometimes. So, the, all this stuff was like in this little. Clinique bag, which is actually kind of a cute little bag. It's really dirty, but I'm going to run it through the washer and see if I can get it washed up. Of course, Connor had two water bottles in his backpack because he's, you know, hoarding those at school or whatever. So uh, I'm going to sort through this stuff. And then I have one bag or one bin on the floor. This is stuff for uh, donate. And then this is stuff that needs to go upstairs and be washed. Alright, so everything's clean. I'm going to set the Roomba up to run over here to vacuum that rug. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. We're going to be donating that whole tote of bags and shoes and hats and everything. And then I need to take this pool bag upstairs and put it in the hall closet. And then these are all the shoes and coats and stuff that need to go upstairs. I also kind of cleaned out this area right here because some of my shoes kind of piled up right there. And I can take those upstairs and put them in my closet. So. Now what I'm going to try to do is get the um, our whiteboard calendar filled out um, for the rest of the month. got all of our information wrote up here well most of it except I do want to write down what's for dinner um, in the evening but I haven't done my meal planning for this coming week yet so that will have to uh, wait until I get that done but uh, this is what basically I wanted to get it for was stuff like this for example the kids have fast testing this week and they're supposed to wear a team shirt um, and just for them to kind of keep track of what days they have swim and what's going on on the weekends and stuff like that so I think that will be good um, Kira also said she wants to write down what days of the week it is at school, like is it a gym day, art day, music day, whatever. Um, and then I am pretty excited with how the organization of the mudroom turned out. It's not fancy, 
It's not Pinterest worthy, but I do need to get some matching baskets. Probably if I want it to um, <laughs> look like that. I ended up putting Connor's uh, like sports stuff up here, like his um, not his cleats, his shin guards and his um, glove and baseball and stuff like that. And then we had quite a few hats. I put those up here. And then uh, gloves seem to be the thing that we lose the most. So we have some mismatched gloves here, but um, I need to search through the kids' pockets. And I bet you they have some more in there. And so here's Connor's spot with his backpack, his swim bag, and his coat. And then his shoes are down there. Uh, I had to get Kira to cull down some of her shoes because she had way too many and some didn't fit anymore and some needed donated. Uh, her school bag is heavier so I just have it sitting right there and her swim bag and her coat and then all of the hats. I just went ahead and put ball caps and stocking caps up there. And then this is usually where I hang my stuff. Um, for some reason I usually hang my coat over on the coat tree. I don't know why but this is just an extra bag, a purse that I'm not using right now and one of the tote bags that I use to kind of transport my lunch and other stuff back and forth to work and then Adam's work bag and his sweatshirt and then all of his gloves like his work gloves and his ball caps and his stocking caps and everything are up there and then all of our shoes down there so I still have a little bit of work to do um, taking this stuff upstairs and organizing my shoes and then I found a bunch of sweatshirts hanging down here too that I want to get upstairs and get washed. All right, so that is going to be it for today's organization video. If you guys are uh, joining along with me, let me know what you're planning on organizing today. And I am going to uh, end this video and hopefully get it uploaded for you guys today uh, so I can start filming a weekend prep video since it's Saturday. But if you need to catch up on any of the organizing videos I've posted, I'll leave those linked in a playlist below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.